Okay. So we had a bit of an ice storm here. And uh, everything's all covered in ice. But I really wanted to do some napping tonight. So I think I'm just going to show you how I make a usable arrowhead out of a small flake of rock like this. And, all right. So first thing, grind the edges. If you don't grind the edges, uh, your flaker is more than likely to slip and not take a good flake off. And uh, I think I'll use my indirect method. Well, it's actually uh, Jack Crafty's. He uh, showed me how to do this on his videos. But um, yeah, we'll just get started here. Now, I'm gonna put the flaker into that flat spot, the lower half, and knock flakes off of there. If you look, you can see those flakes came off right to my finger. And you just do that all the way down the piece. Now I'm going to knock this tip off because it's kind of irregular. Alright, so a small arrowhead tonight. Just shaping it, just knocking away this stuff. I know it's dark, but I really wanted to do this just right now on the spot, so whatever. Now what I'm doing is I'm flattening out that area. See that bump? Now it's a little flatter. And again, just grind as you go along. Now, when you're shaping these, you'll see that there's some high points and low points and curves. Here's a spot that I want to make straight, so I'm going to knock a flake off here, and that'll straighten it out a little bit. A little straighter. Hope you can see what I'm doing here. I think you can. Really, I'm just uh, shaping it little by little, making it straighter and straighter. I'll get this curve out. Got to do both sides. I remember I watched uh, Dual Survival a long time ago. I was watching Dave Canterbury 
do this on a piece of glass. And I was trying to figure out how to get the curve out of it. Which um, he did a pretty good job at. The trick is to keep taking long flakes. Sometimes with this particular rock, um, I still have a hard time with getting all of the curve out because you got hit so hard. And most of the time, I wind up smashing my finger like I just did. But you just got to keep shaping it and trying to take that curve out. some point I would really like to make a, uh, a better instructional video on these with, uh, clearer terms and clearer actions of what I'm doing and just being able to describe things better which I've been working on um, This one's giving me a little bit of a hard time. Now, like I always say, with this particular rock, uh, I stand a good chance of breaking it. Like that. Hmm. All right. See what we can do with it. It's not going to be exactly what I wanted now. We'll see what happens though. Hmm. Well, this one's a little too thin for hunting point point now. Um, not wide enough. So I'm gonna grab another flake and see what I can do. But as you can see, I started to I started to straighten it out. Let's see what I got. Hmm. This is Texas rock. Well, this piece might not be so good because of the cortex on it, but maybe. I'll give it a test. And if this one's good, um, this will make a suitable knife blade. We'll have to see. Um, I'm going to use copper on this to try to speed things up a little bit. Get this out so I can get my way. Alright, let's see what I can do. Just speed through this. Took flakes off of here. Grind it again. There.
Hmm. So, the issue with this piece of rock, or the challenge, I should say, is that there's a thick layer of cortex, which means the outside of the rock. That's what the rock looks like before you bust it open. Inside, it looks like that. Now, the trick is getting that layer off of that, which is sometimes pretty difficult to do. But it's the same concept as using the under leg. You're hitting a spot on here that pops a flake off. When you're using this or this, you're hitting the same way you would with the, with the under the leg flake. Uh, making contact right on that white. Pinch my finger real tight under it to try to control the flake. Better. Now, <sighs> dropped it. This already has a cutting edge. And you don't need to take that cortex off. You don't need to. But if you want it to look pretty, you'll try to get as much of that as you can off. But it doesn't have to look pretty to work. So we're looking for a ledge that you can hit into. So it's down and in. You follow through. See that? This one took off a lot. This is now sharp as can be. And I'll still try to get some of this off. But you don't need much to cut with these. If you're looking for a quick survival tool, it doesn't need to be pretty. Although it's pretty already. But it doesn't need to have those flakes going in that everybody nowadays does. They're, um, they're actually pretty easy to do if you have the shoulder strength for it, which right now I do not at the moment, but I'll do a little bit. I'll show you how it works. Now this stuff I try to be careful with because it's a lot more delicate than my green rock that I work with and I'm not used to it. And sometimes I do snap it from hitting too hard. All right. When you're doing the base, the base meaning the bottom, you never want to hit straight in without supporting the tip. Um, I tend to not hit straight in, I hit at an angle. Because when you hit here, it creates a lot of force in the middle. And it sometimes snaps it. So you want to be real careful with that. Just tuck this flake off here. And then I'll try one right in the middle. This is scary to me, usually. Little piece. All right. I came in from the other way and knocked that off. I'm not gonna push it with this because I do have two bars left of battery, but I'm getting the basic knife shape now. You can see the flakes are all set up on that side. 
And uh, yeah, I'll just speed through this now. You do the same thing, grind the opposite way. So you're setting up a steep area here to be able to hit flakes on the opposite side. <laughs> Boop. <laughs> Keep going. Sometimes things don't go according to plan. We'll still get a decent decent blade out of this, I think. If I don't do that again. Let's see. Anybody who's trying this, I mess up and break stuff a lot. And that's how you learn these angles. Now one thing I like to do when it's getting thinner and it starts to break is I change my tool to a smaller one. Now most people won't show their mess ups on camera because everybody wants to be the best, right? But uh, if you're teaching, you show your mess ups so that other people could learn from your mistakes. Everybody breaks points, they break knives, everybody. Even the ancient 10, 12,000 year old Paleo Indians broke their points. So I'm just shaping this into a blade. Trying to make it look nice. One bar left. Gonna have to speed this up big time. Alright. Into the base. Do that again. Knock the flake off. Knock the flake off. Now I do have um, my own personal knives about this size that work really, really well. Is there a skunk creeping up on me here? What the hell is that? Alright, skunk's creeping up on me. Don't want to get sprayed. So I'm going to uh, really speed this up now. All right, so the longest point is here. This is a good base. If I straighten out these edges, I could make a, uh, a nice, long lance blade. So I'll try that. We'll see what I come up with. I don't know if you guys can see the angle I'm using here. I'm not hitting very hard with this material at least. All right. So, I'm going to switch to this again and just speed through this and the shaping of it. Now what I'm doing is I'm just hitting straight down on the sides to try to shape it. So that's the longest point. Hmm. I usually talk to myself while I'm 
making these, so I might as well record it. But it's getting there. It's getting to the shape I need. What I'm doing is I'm zigzagging as well. Hitting one, flipping it over. create a zigzag and my battery is now in red so I really gotta hurry but I will show you before this is up how well this little knife blade that I made will work on cutting some leather before that battery runs out So I'm just going to speed this along. Now here comes the part that hurts me. I know there's other ways to flake um, without hurting your shoulder, but I just can't do it the way I want to do it. So I'm going to show you. Put this under my shoulder like that. In and down. In and down. In and down. Same thing. All the way down the piece. And it knocked a whole bunch of flakes off. And it sharpened this whole edge. So, I'll just make little adjustments to this before using it to show you. All right. <laughs> the hell is that? Yeah, I don't know what that was. That was a creepy ass sound coming from behind me. I don't know what it was. Anyway, I'm gonna cut that out. <laughs> okay. So, my battery's blinking, and I really have to uh, speed this up. And I think it's off. Well. And the end. That's what happens when you rush. All right, I'll upload this one. But anyway, that would have cut right through this. Uh, let's see, do I have anything in here that'll show you before this turns off? Another piece of Texas splint. Piece of leather. And. Cuts right through. Easy. But anyway, uh, I guess I'll upload a better video. This is kind of on the fly. I haven't uploaded anything in a while and I really felt like doing it tonight. Just started raining and sleeting out. And I have this entire 
pile of flint at my feet to work with. So I will call that a night, go inside, go to sleep, well I'll upload this first. Anyway, that is my failures for the night. Have a good night.